Thank you for joining. Um, I come to you with not great news. I'm gonna break down what are the biggest issues with this approach and how this relates to the great resignation and how employees are done with this type of behavior. The market has changed, as you know, and uh, we have to move with it in order to survive. From the get-go, doesn't take responsibility. He blames the mark. It's the market. The market is what got to us, not us. We didn't do anything. I wish we were thriving enthusiastically as we were at the beginning of this year. Sounds like y'all were doing better at the beginning of the year. What happened? What decisions did you make that get you here, right? Back in 2018, you had funded over a billion dollars in loans, so you were crushing it. And then you opened better real estate, and then you launched better cover, and then you launched better settlement services, and then you closed on 160 million in Series C funding. So it sounds like y'all overreached, and now it's coming back to haunt you. A really, really challenging decision to make. I've this is the second time in my career I'm doing this, and I do not, do not want to do this. The last time I did it, I cried. And he does the classic CEO sob story of like, oh, this is so tough for me. Oh, I hope I don't cry. I cried before. What? You are about to lay off 900 people. You're going to be fine. They have to figure out how to pay the bills, how to pay rent or a mortgage or even afford gifts for the holidays. And you're sitting pretty, and you want empathy from them? If you're on this call, you are part of the unlucky group. F you, dude. Being, but we are laying off about 15% of the company. Now, you know what would be revolutionary for a CEO to do is just own the fact that they messed up. What if he simply had said, listen, it's on me. I made the wrong decisions, as well as the leadership team. We made the wrong decisions together. And that's why we're in the position that we're in. And because of that, none of us are going to be taking bonuses this year. There won't be a holiday party. There won't be any of that stuff. And in addition to that, my salary, which is around 1.5 million, I'm going to take a 50% pay cut. I'm going to take that 750,000 that I got, and I'm going to give it to y'all. And I'm gonna also take that from many of our leadership so that you can get a little bit more money. So if you work for better.com, you might be thinking, I might be next.